South Korea versus Ghana, three two. Hmm. This is probably one of the most intense games of the World Cup so far. <laughs> it could be the most intense too. That second half was pretty intense, man. Cause look, as soon as Ghana scored two, I was like, "Yeah, that's it. We're done." <laughs> so, you know, probably they're gonna get one more, or this is just gonna end in two nil or something. Because you could see the South Korean players, right? Um, once the two goals, they were you know not playing as good. Son Hyung Min, bro, you can't really um depend too much on son anyways so once that first goal went in for korea everyone they got their confidence back you know what i mean they started to move more in the attack because south korea i would say they played way better than they did in the first half first half was dominated by ghana fully so you go to the second half South Korea was way better than any of the team played in the, second, in the first half. So South Korea, once that, especially once that first goal went in, their they, their confidence just blew up the roof. Since then, they were just you know doing really good, and then they go to the second goal. Man, their hopes kind of came back like they have a chance. So you could actually see once the first goal went in, totally their style of play completely changed. They started to be more active, more active in the attack. So South Korea was doing more of the attack, and then you know obviously Ghana scored the third goal, and then you could see you know he kind of came kind of came crashing down for a lot of the fans but i don't think south korea gave up though they still was all in on the attack and then ghana was just not trying to attack at all they were just defending fully so they already know man we already scored three so you know uh, let's just uh protect this third goal and then uh just make sure that it didn't really go back so a lot of them are, were just trying to fully defend then uh you know to prevent south korea son man uh, I kind of feel bad because this dude is one of the best players in the Premier League right now and he just doesn't it's, it's not the same and you know you can like I don't think I would blame him bro because I'm not saying South Korea plays are bad but then he used to he's used to having Harry Kane as a striker but then coming over here uh, I feel like sometimes he does things himself or something and um you know, can't really, you know, hope 100% on him to get the goals and everything. So, I mean, I don't think he scored a single goal in this World Cup so far. It was all, it was all um his other teammates. So, yeah, bro. South Korea's hope just come crashing down after that third goal. But again, they never stopped. They still, you know, attacked and attacked. Tried to get the third goal, but it just never happened. And also, the ref just blew the whistle when it should have been a corner kick. So, obviously, you could see a lot of people were just arguing, arguing about it. But I would have given a corner kick. Just gave him a last shot. You know what I mean? So, just that last hope for them. Because, obviously, they were thinking, hey, man, if this corner kick, we could have gotten another another goal or something. So, obviously, we could see them arguing about that. But we don't know, man. Sometimes it could happen. So, if I was the referee, I would have given the, the corner kick. Because let them have a last shot. If that goes out, then you know the game's over. So at, even at one point, there was almost a chance where this player who already scored two, um, you know, could have gotten the third goal in the hat trick, which just did not happen. He was a bit too late from the ball, but that would have been amazing though because he scored two goals by header, and then the third goal that he almost was going to score was also a header. So that would be crazy though, like three, like a header hat trick. Remember when you used to play play pass, and then there's this like. Uh, achievement that you could um you need to get a header hat trick yeah that that, that would be cool to see that he literally got a hat trick just full of header goals so yeah anyways man great game so ghana was the better team so ghana obviously is gonna face portugal who is the uh top of the group so who korea and Uruguay Urugu is gonna go forth so the only way either of them is gonna go through is if um Ghana loses. Ghana losing is the only way Uruguay or Korea could go through. If not, Ghana's gonna go through. But man, seeing how Ghana played, I kind of want them to go through. You know what I mean? But uh, but Ghana, I, I mean, I won't be surprised if they actually beat Portugal though. And again, Uruguay, I don't know what's happening with them. Like, bro. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna talk about that later. But. So yeah, that is South Korea versus Ghana. So thank you very much for watching. See you for the next game. Until then, goodbye.